What's up, Texas Rangers fans? So Josh Young had a night debuting back at AAA Round Rock, as you all know. The Texas Rangers' top position prospect suffered a shoulder injury trying to get ready for the 2022 season, lifting weights, and it set him back. And we all know the season before, it was a stress fracture in his shin. So for a player with probably one of the best hit tools in the organization, I think this guy is legit. He probably should have already been in the major leagues if it wasn't for his injury. He's been slowed down. It's okay, it's not like we would have been competing anyway, so it's, we're probably saving his uh, time clock, his service time clock, that's a lot of what uh, people talk about now, service manipulation. We get to save that for whenever we are competing. And this guy had a day last night at AAA. He only had one hit, he was one for three, with two walks, but that just shows his uh, pitch recognition, his play discipline, but the one hit he had was a three run homer. And this is also before uh, he was in the Instruct League. He also had two home runs there as well. I think he played one game at DH and one game at first base. He was ready enough to go move on to AAA and play third base. The position we drafted him uh, to play, to be the third baseman of the future. This is a significant move because we heard that Josh Young would probably just be playing DH this year for AAA, but he's playing third base. So it gets us thinking, Josh Young will have to be added to the 40 man roster after the season. So we the bats aren't amazing up at the major leagues. Obviously you have your studs like Seager, Nate Lowe has actually been doing pretty well. Uh, Garcia is decent. Simeon's been turning it around. Those are your main guys up at the major leagues. There's the prospects that are still trying to prove themselves. But 100%, if Josh Young is ready, healthy, we all know that he has the caliber, but if he's healthy, 100%, I'd move him up to the majors over a guy like Josh Smith, Ezekiel Duran, Bubba Thompson. As much as I love those guys, and some people might get me wrong because I keep on saying that I don't believe in them. I want every single player on the Rangers to pan out. But I think Josh Young is legit. I think the two prospects with the most potential in the organization for the Rangers as far as hitters go, Josh Young and Luis Angel Acuna. Every other player I have some doubts about for um, different reasons. But I think Josh Young is the truth. I think... Granted, he needs to stay healthy. He should be the starting third baseman next year. I don't care what Josh Smith or Ezekiel Duran have done this year. One, yeah, sure, they've had some decent outings, but the rest haven't been too spectacular. I think they need to be humbled down in AAA. But this is amazing. Amazing turnaround. Obviously, I, I want Josh Young to be healthy, so we don't need to rush him to the major leagues. I think... 2023 is the more likely scenario and I'm okay with that because we aren't going to make it to the playoffs this year but I don't I think you can call him up for a few games if he's ready you're not risking any injury so he could still hold his rookie eligibility for next year kind of what the Rays did with Randy Arozarena but I don't know this is something that the Rangers need to think about they have to think, is this in the best interest for the team this year, but also uh, for the team in the future years to come to get Josh Young's feet wet. However, I think this is a few um, few weeks away before they even consider this decision. Remember, he just got activated to play in AAA. Great game for Josh Young. I'm super excited because I, I love this prospect. There's very few prospects that I get this excited about. Josh Young is one of those guys. I really can't wait for him to make it to the major leagues for us. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Uh, do you think Josh Young should make it to the major leagues this year? Should the Rangers wait till 2023? Are you nervous that he's playing third base when the Rangers said he would only be DHing? I think this is all good stuff coming from the Texas Rangers and Josh Young. I think it shows that he was willing to take his rehab 
as seriously as possible to get back out onto the field. I think he loves baseball. And I think just like Kuma Rocker, this injury, um, this setback will help make him a better player, ball player and a better person as well. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. This is an exciting day for Josh Young at AAA. The homer, the two walks, um, I'll definitely be watching the AAA Round Rock box scores, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.